trying to own multiple benches Driving the latest benches Heaven only knows I'm a witness And the profit gon' come tremendous I'm trying to own multiple benches Driving the latest benches Heaven only knows I'm a What's up? What's poppin'? It's your boy Zillionaire. Welcome to the show. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Shout out to my new subscribers in Z Nation. Now, we live in a world that's so evil and wicked, you just don't know what to expect next. I tell you, everything I th every time I think that I didn't heard something bad, you always hear something even more worse. And it's going to continue to be like that because even the Word of God says, each generation will become more wicked and more wiser than the last generation. In other words, every generation is going to always come up with something more evil than they did before. This woman right here, Cheryl Mills, had sex with her boyfriend's disabled son. Tried to extort him for drugs. When she didn't get the drugs and money, she chopped his head off. Crazy. Then had a nerve to go next door and ask the neighbor for a chainsaw so she could finish the job. In court, she laughed and she smiled and she said she don't regret nothing she's done. Now, let me tell you the story from the beginning. Her, this, this young man's father, okay, that, that got his head chopped off, his father goes to the strip joints and he has sex with strippers for money and drugs. He ends up bringing this stripper into his home and around his son. OK, you usually hear this story of women doing this story. You usually hear so many stories of women bringing trifling men into their home and they end up uh, killing her and the kid or killing the kid or, or, you know, or assaulting the child or doing something wrong. Um, this is very rare. You hear a man bringing a woman into the home and she end up killing their killing his kid. Now, I the father, this was the father's fault. Just like I fought the mother when she brings a man to the home and he end up killing the kid or, or, bring, or doing harm to the children. This is the father's fault for bringing a woman from a strip club. You don't know what kind of mental state she was in or maybe he didn't care what kind of mental state she, she was in. Because when you bring a stripper into your home and you give her drugs and she gives you all kind of sexual favors to some men, they don't care. All this man cared about was the sexual favors he was getting from this woman because she was a drug addict. And he used that so he can get all his sexual fantasies satisfied or fulfilled. Documents report this man always went to the strip club, always searching for strippers. I'm not knocking strip clubs. Hey, if you do what you do. But when you want to bring these type of women into your home and you don't know what kind of mental capacity they're in, you don't know what kind of mental condition they're in, you don't know how evil they are. And you bring them around your children, anything is possible. That's sad. Her, his, his son already came into the world with a disability. And she go, he, he, he has to leave this world without his head on his shoulders. And this woman, just, this woman just smiling and laughing like it was funny. This is the father's fault. Totally the father's fault. Sad. You don't bring no t no women like this into your house around your disabled son. You don't bring no unstable stripper into your house. Because anyway, if she's a stripper and you had to bring her to your home, that lets you know she had nowhere to go. She had nowhere to stay. She was stripping for drugs. Okay? She was stripping for drugs, living out on the street. But to this insecure father, he liked the fact that she had nowhere to go. He liked the fact that... um. You know, he liked the fact that uh, she had to depend on him for drugs. He liked that. He liked the fact that this stripper was depending on him for drugs. And he liked the fact that he was supplying her habit. You know, some people are insecure and have low self-esteem. So they like to bring people into their house that have nowhere to go and are dependent on them. Just like these women bring these trifling men into the home. This man brought a trifling woman into his house. And he liked the fact that she was totally dependent on him for drugs and everything on drugs and a place to stay and endangered his son. She's trying to get money from his son, trying to get drugs for his son. And when he, she didn't get it, she chopped his head off. Sad. This is sick. This is crazy. And I know we watch horror movies or horror stories all the time. Sometimes that monster, that creature is living right next door to you. 
Sometimes we meet, we come in contact with monsters every day and don't even know it. Sometimes we bring these monsters into our home. We bring, we open the door to these demonic spirits. But trust me, mental illness, it also comes from demonic influence. Okay. Mental illness comes from a demonic place. You don't have to agree with me. I could care less. These are spirits that infiltrate the mind. And these are spirits that take over the mind. And they take over the actions of the mind. That's why a lot of scientists don't understand where mental illness comes from. They got to understand the spiritual side of mental illness also. I'm not just talking about the, heredit the hereditary side. Okay, we got to also look at the spiritual side because you got to understand these spirits, once they control your mind, they control your actions. And a lot of people turn to the dark side and they do dark, evil, wicked stuff like this. And she, this woman has no remorse for what she's done. As you can see, she don't even have a conscience. She thought it was funny. She's in court laughing like it's funny, but she got convicted and she's serving life in prison without the possibility of parole. I'm your boy Zillionaire. Learn how to use this spiritual gift called discernment of spirits. God gives us discernment. Either you use it or you don't. The discernment is there to protect you. The discernment is there to let you know who to deal with and who not to deal with. That discernment is there to let you know who to bring into your home and who not to bring into your home. But some of us don't want to use spiritual discernment because we don't care. We want what we want when we want it. We don't care who it endangers. We don't care what happens. We just want what we want for right now. And it's sad. This father's actions put his son in danger and ultimately cost his disabled son, his life, because he wants to bring an unstable drug, a drug stripper and a drug addict into his house just because she was given fulfilling his sexual fantasies. Sad. I'm your boy Zillionaire. One of the craziest, sickest stories I ever heard in my life. This woman sleeps with a disabled boy. Don't get the drugs she wanted from him and his money. So she chops his head off. That lets you know what kind of mental capacity this woman was in. And the father could care less because he was getting pleased. And he was getting all of his sexual fantasies fulfilled. At the expense of his son's life. I'm out of here, man. This stuff is crazy. This is an evil, wicked world we live in. You just never know what to expect. But understand, there are forces of good and evil around us at all times. Some people choose evil. Some people choose good. Some people choose the light. Some people turn to the dark side. I'm out of here. I'm trying to own multiple businesses. Driving the latest business. Heaven only knows I'm a witness. And the profit gon' come tremendous. I'm trying to own multiple businesses. Driving the latest business Heaven only knows I'm